Hi guys, just putting a quick video together to help a uh, a fellow modeler here at uh, at the field set up a uh, shockwave with um, a front gear door and pneumatic retracts without a sequencer programming at all on the radio. So if you see here, what I've got is just a standard Futaba 7008 SB. Um, I'm not using uh, S bus. I'm just using channel. Two and three. There we go. A little less blurry. Um, <clears throat> servo on the left is gear. Servo on the right is the door. So you know this servo would control your your pneumatic valve, and this would obviously be connected to your your linkages on your door. There's only one door there, but these can all be ganged, and they could all be on separate channels. Whatever you want to do. But right now, very simple, just to kind of go through the logic and the programming. Just a battery and a switch, just to kind of control things. Uh, the first thing I did was uh, I went into linkage just to kind of go into uh, function name and I picked gear and uh, I picked door. I just renamed two functions. You can technically use um, whatever function you want and I did this just so it's more intuitive when you're putting together your PMIX because rather than having you know some, some random name there that's in there by default I always customize things. So this is optional but this will make sense when we're actually looking at the PMIX. You don't have to do this piece, but you can just kind of click here and rename stuff. All right, so if I go back here and I look at program mixes, the first thing you want to do is change the type of mix. Instead of being a linear mix, you change it to a uh, offset mix. Okay, so I'm going to change this one back to linear. But uh, um, I've already changed the first one. I added this one for this. It's an offset mixing. <clears throat> Now, this one's pretty cool because you can set things like Crow and whatnot. Very uh, powerful mix. But what I did was I set up all my slaves. Okay? And what happens is a lot of people start setting up master and slaves based on, let's say, you know, channel one will be the master and channel two will be the slave, and you'll try to P mix it that way. That, that's kind of a, a way to do it, but you end up losing some functionality because you're really not leveraging the, the, the power of the radio. So what I did here was, the master is the switch. So everything's controlled off of the switch. So you can set a switch here. So I use SH, which is this guy. Two position switch right here. Okay. <clears throat> you can use any switch you want. That's what I did right here. Very easy. Okay. That's your master. So now you're not dependent on a specific channel or dependent on a specific uh, function you're dependent on a switch position and you could set which position whether it be up or down or, you know whatever you want <clears throat> now technically when this switch is triggered all of these sequences can take place okay so the first one I want to do is is or set up is gear so that's sequence number one you got sequence number two and then you know I kind of set these all to auxiliary okay so if you're not using them I just think it's cleaner so if I were to be doing this for my plane, I would set it up in this way where I'd have gear, I'd have door or doors, and then I'd have auxiliary because I know I'm not using them. But if I leave them as default, if Tabo puts names in there, you're like, okay, is this doing something or not? You'll have to go and look and see if you've actually programmed rates and stuff like that. So I'll default this to auxiliary, and I know, okay, this function's only working on these two slaves. Okay, so gear, and we got door. Set your rates. Okay, so your door may bind at 130 or 115 or 112. So you may want to set your door at a certain offset, right? <clears throat> now you could fine tune different parameters here and you can see in the manual what you want to do. Um, something that you may consider is um, slowing the door down so it looks more scale. Go up to like 20 or something. And then on the way out, go up to like 20 or something. <clears throat> but the most important thing is the sequencing. Or delay. So, for example, in this one, I've got a, a, a stop delay for gear set of two seconds, which means gear up, the gear needs to wait two seconds. Simple as that. And uh, the door, gear up, it needs to wait two seconds, right? Uh, or I'm sorry, in reverse. So, gear down, gear needs to wait two seconds, gear up, door needs to wait two seconds. So you can make that 10 seconds, 15 seconds. Really depends on how fast your servo is, how scale you want it to look, and uh, it, you can tune it to whatever you want, whatever makes you happy. Okay, so at the end of the day, here's what happens. Um, 
Here are the two servos. Okay, flick your switch. So right now it's steady state. Steady state for me is models on the ground, gears down, doors open, obviously, right? So you take off, flip your switch, gear up. Four seconds. Gears up. Now you saw it was really slow. That's because I switched it to 20, right? So if you want that to be fast, that's zero, right? So now you're flying around, you're happy as can be. Timer just went off. Servo on the right is your door, servo on your left is your gear, you know, connected to your, um, your air valve, your pneumatic valve. So, okay, time to come down, doing a gear pass, gear down. Doors are down, delay, gear is down. You're good to go. Well, gear's down, I want to keep flying. Let me just kind of go for another, let me, let me, let me bring my gear back up. Gear up, doors closed. Fly around, no, well, maybe I do want to land. Let's go ahead and land. Doors open, gears down. Simple setup, that's how you do it. That's where you go. I hope this helps you. Good seeing you yesterday, by the way. Take care, nice flying.